Hello everyone. Welcome back to the new video. In today's video, we will talk about sulfonylamide disaster that happened in 1937 in the United States of America. So let's get started. Sulfonylamide was an antibiotic medication used to treat streptococcal infections in the early 20th century. Streptococcal infections are any infections caused by streptococcus bacteria family, which is commonly referred to as strep. These bacteria usually causes a sore throat or a skin infection. But they can also cause life-threatening diseases, such as pneumonia. The drug sulfonylamide was shown to have a remarkable curative effects in the treatment of streptococcal infections. And it was safe to use in tablet and powder formulations. In the United States, there was a pharmaceutical company called S.E. Massengill Company, which was founded in 1898. In June 1937, a salesman of S.E. Massengill Pharmaceutical Company observed that patients suffering from streptococcal infections was demanding the drug sulfonylamide in a liquid formulation to treat the disease, considering it is easy to use in throat infections caused by bacteria. When the company's chief chemist and pharmacist, Harold Cole Watkins, realized this demand, he performed several experiments and found out that Sulfonylamide can dissolve in diethylene glycol. The diethylene glycol is poisonous to humans and other mammals as well. But Harold Watkins, who is the company's chief pharmacist and chemist, was not aware of this. Hence, Watkins simply added raspberry flavor into powdered sulfonylamide, dissolved it in diethylene glycol solvent, and developed sulfonylamide elixir. The point to be noted here is there was no animal testing, and any kind of pre-market testing was performed on this newly formulated and developed sulfonylamide elixir formulation. And this is because there were no regulations at that time, which requiring pre-market safety testing of drugs before launching the drug in the market. Due to this loophole, Massengill Pharmaceutical Company's control laboratory tested new sulfonylamide elixir formulation for flavor, appearance, and fragrance and found it safe to be used in human. Immediately, company formulated and dispensed the new sulfonylamide elixir formulation into the United States market in September 1937. On October 11, 1937, the American Medical Association received a report of several deaths caused by the sulfonylamide elixir. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration immediately launched an investigation on sulfonylamide elixir. The pharmacologist and physician, Francis Oldham Kelsey, who assisted in the investigation, found out that the diethylene glycol solvent was responsible for the fatal adverse effects of sulfonylamide elixir. Around 100 plus deaths were blamed on the medication and most of them were children. This is all about the sulfonylamide disaster. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you soon in the next video.